Hello again, YouTube. I know I said I wasn't going to make no more videos, but the most I gets his wish. Today, as you know, is what the world calls Valentine's Day, and something within me, which was the most high, basically said, teach these pe people what Valentine's Day really is and where it comes from. So that's what I'm going to do real quick, real quick, and I'm, I'm going to read something to you, then we're going to go for a ride. Valentine's Day is the woman's second Christmas, if you will. And it's one of the reasons why guys can't save money. Like they, I mean, I know you should get your money far above whatever you would buy on Valentine's Day. But think of all the years, all the days that a man spends in a year trying to satisfy the emotions of his wife and his kids. I mean, if you invested even half of that, you would be a millionaire. But let's get into it. So it was an article written by a Hannah Jones. And what's in this article can be confirmed. You know, if you do your own research, your own historical research, you'll see. So I'm going to read some of it and then I'm going to go for a ride and I'm going to comment on it before my drop off. So it says Van Valentine's Day started out as a holiday known as Lupercalia. L-U-P-E-R-C-A-L-I-A, which was a fertility festival de dedicated to the Roman god of agriculture, Faunus. Understand something. Pagan cultures believe in many gods. The belief in many gods is pagan. But anyway, so it was dedicated to the Roman god, Faunus. Priests would sacrifice goats and dogs, then dip the, the goat hide in the blood, and go into the town. They would then hit women and crops with the bloody hides in hopes that they would be more fertile in the coming years. See, they wanted women to have babies because, you know, there wasn't no such thing as child support. But anyway, after this ceremony, single women would have their names put into an urn and the single men would pick one and claim them as their valentine. Now, it's more to this story than this, but this is part of it. Like, it's a whole nother twist to this. They would be matched for the rest of the year and when, and most ended up getting married. Later on, Lupercalia was deemed unchristian and turned into Valentine's Day. So you Christians, you know, you high and mighty, you, you, you think you got it all right? It was later turned into Valentine's Day because it was deemed as unchristian, unbiblical. Some sources claim that it was named after a man who married people in secret. This one, now here's an, another thing. When Emperor Claudius II banned marriage of young men claiming that they would make better soldiers without the baggage of a family. There are other stories, but this version is far by far the most romantic. The most important symbol of Valentine's Day, Cupid, really has nothing to do with Valentine's Day besides the fact that he was a god of desire. And blah, blah, blah. This this person just adding to the, um, the story. But let's go on. Let me put my seatbelt on. Now, allegedly, hold on, hold on, let me get, uh, let me get my information ready. Now, allegedly, um, it was called Valentine's Day. Some say the man's name that had the altercation with the Emperor Claudius. His name was Valentino. Those young guys wanted to get married. They wanted to um, have S.E. eggs. I had to censor it. And so he was going. Um, that what, what happened was the, the historical account says that Claudius bad marriages and that... Uh, 
the Valentino, Valentine, I think his name was Valentino, his last name, was still going behind Claudius and marrying those people, those soldiers. And so they say he was beaten to death with clubs. And how fitting. Remember the 80s? We used to watch a lot of low-budget horror flicks in the 80s. Um, it was a series called My Bloody Valentine. Uh, you know, I don't want to, I definitely don't want to think about that, but it's kind of fitting because they, as usual, which I can get, like, this is a commercial country. It's about capitalism, it's about business. So it's a lot of days that were bad for whatever reason that we celebrate and we spend a lot of money on today. Like Valentine's Day, people are traveling all over the place. I was trying to find me a, a airline ticket for somewhere I need to go tomorrow, and I had to change my mind because they were just too expensive. They're traveling all over the place for 304s, cheating women, women that don't appreciate nothing. You told me we was going to Cabo. Why? How we end up in Bahamas? It, it always reminds me of that commercial with the referee where the coach was just yelling at him, just, just belittling him, and he just was like, and they say, where did he learn how to take such uh, abuse? And then they showed his wife at home. But yeah, like my, my daughter say, she said, uh, hey daddy, you get some hard candy? I said, yeah. I eat that candy all day, but I'm never celebrating that. I'm just not. I don't care who don't like it. And in the future, like if I was to, let's say I was to get divorced and I'm back on the scene. That's one of the t questions. I'm going to vet these women like, what do you think of holidays? Um, oh, I love Valentine's Day and Valentine's Day is very important to me. Bye. They're going to be out of the, the running. They're going to be out of the running because I know the truth. If you look at Lupercanus or what what's his name? Look at the symbol for Lupercus or Lupercanus. I think it's Lupercanus. And look at uh that's the name of the holiday they was really celebrating. And look at the Roman idol Faunus. Tell me what you see. Tell me what you see. Write it in the comments. But this day is not like a day that the Most High orchestrated and ordained. Like, it's a day dedicated disrespectfully towards the true Most High, honoring something that was made up, make believe. And they basically, the people will end up married because they got selected like a random drawing. They got how how is that vetting? How how are you courting? How is that anything? Like they basically just had a random drawing, and the two went at it so much, of course, because they both were seeing they probably were not having no activities. Did they end up getting married? So that's what Valentine's Day used to be. You know what I mean? Like it was given the name because of something that happened but it's really like the masking if you will of the dedication to faunus roman fertility god and if you look at what we call easter you look at what we call valentine's day you look at some of the symbols in christianity and other religions it's all tied to s e X. I mean, that's just a fact. Like, I mean, that's just, you know, that's why you got to do your own research. You got to do your own research. You do your own research, you'll learn these things. And you have, hopefully, you won't get emasculated. Well, people, pie, how you know they ain't make that up? How you know that whole story about Valentine? They mean, how you know that? Listen, 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 you're a woman. You need to, y'all guys need to get y'all women in place. Y'all need to remind them that they're a woman. 
Remind them to tell a woman. Uh, we equal. Okay, let's have a bench pressing contest then. Okay, let's see who could work the most hours then. Okay, if okay, if if we're gonna leave our door unlocked, we're gonna move to the worst area and let's take turns fighting off the bums and the thieves to try to get in here. Bet some of them be scared of, of a roach or a fly. I've seen some women that were scared of olives. Like, if you watch, what was that, Maury Povich? The lady was screaming in terror over olives. You know? But, real quick video about that. This is the last one today. I got it. I'm kind of behind on my work. Uh, I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. This is the truth, man. Like, share, subscribe. Put this on your channel. Valentine's Day is the worship of the God, false God, Faunus in Roman culture. A lot of stuff we do is Roman culture. Roman culture. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with more videos.